Hey folks, it's week four, Tuesday, September 15th, and this is your gender forecast. So, task one. The first thing I want you to do is head over to Slack in the Trans 101 Channel 3 and share your biggest takeaway from the spade reading. Okay? It would be cool if you could read and respond to two of your classmates' posts. Just, you know. So test two, you're gonna head over to Twitter and I want you to search in the right-hand side of the tab, um, the hashtag reproductive justice and hit enter. And I want you to take several minutes to scroll through the tweets and to pay attention to how people are having conversations about bodies in relation to reproductive justice. Um, this relates to the spade reading in the sense that, you know, oftentimes the ways that we talk about reproductive justice still tends to assume that um, folks who have uh, vaginas uh, and folks who can become pregnant and folks who menstruate, right, all of these things are um, always cisgender women. We know that's not true, right? And so I just want you to find a tweet that you're like, hmm, you know, like this doesn't necessarily, um, this is a little suspicious, right? And then you're gonna fix it. I want you to screenshot the reproductive justice tweet that you think uses gender essentialist language. And I want you to upload that tweet to Tumblr. And then in the comments, I want you to include, you know, one to two sentences that explains why it's, gender essentialist, like why the phrasing is gender essentialist. And then I want you to revise it. So like type out that tweet, like revise it in a way that is um, gender inclusive. And then you're gonna use these tags right here um, to share your post to Tumblr. So just to give you an idea of what that looks like. So I went through, right? Um, some of the things that you're gonna be looking at are gonna be perfectly fine. And then some you're gonna be like, oh, okay, this needs to be, this could be revised. So this just gives you an example. So I went here and just saw, we can't just fight for women's reproductive rights legislatively. We must act on the ground. We must explain why it's so critical. Abortion is a human right. Cool, right? Except for the fact that there are defab, meaning designated people at birth, um, designated female folks at birth, who um, also might need access to abortion, right? And so, I might revise this to say, we can't just fight for reproductive justice legislatively. We must act on the ground. We must work to help people understand why this fight is so critical. Abortion is a human right. And then I might include a different image, right? Of like people of multiple genders, right? Um, and even gender presentations, because it's hard to vis visually represent sort of those types of things, but um, you know, and have just sort of a different image. So that's really all I'm asking you to do. All right, for task two. In task three, I want you to read and respond to at least three of your peers' posts where they've, you know, screenshotted a, a, a tweet that is using gender essentialist language and they've revised it. And I want you to respond using these, uh, these suggestions right here that are listed in this bulleted list. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing in class. For homework, I want you to read and maybe take some, you can decide if you want to take notes, but I want you to read Johnson's Getting Off the Hook, Denial and Resistance. You can see here that I've highlighted some points that I want you to take a look at. And so that's what we're doing for homework, all right? So you know what we're doing in class, you know what, for, what we're doing for homework, and I will see you in Slack, and I will see you on Tumblr, and we're gonna have a good day. All right, cool.